Are you 50 or over and are wanting to reinvent yourself? I have some strategies to help you out. How's it going, reinventors? My name is Amelia Sims. This is Reinventing You, the channel where you can be inspired to take your own reinventing journey so that you can live a life of joy, fulfillment, and purpose. I post twice a week, and if you want to get notified when the new video comes out, then go just below here to the subscribe button, click on the bell notification, and you will be notified when I upload new videos. Now, I uploaded a video a few months ago, and if you want to see it, it's right up here, and it was about some of the strategies that you can use to reinvent yourself no matter what your age and I really wanted to redo that video because I felt like I was kind of rambling in it and I had some good things to say but I kind of wanted to take those ideas and encapsulate them so they're not quite so big and kind of clunky so that I hope this video will help you if you are over 50 if you wanted to renew yourself that is that you want to take your life where, where in whatever part of your life it could be your relationships it could be your career it could be your health it could be your mental state there's a lot of things that you can reinvent there's a lot of things that you can renew hey you could even renew your house and reinvent um, your space that you live in whatever it is if you're over 50 sometimes life seems to get in the way sometimes it seems impossible sometimes you think I'm too old for this but really this is a really great time to say hey I'm ready to renew my life one of my inspirations for this video was an article that a friend of mine shared on Facebook. So I had to go there and read the article and I absolutely love the article. I have a link below in the descriptions if you would like to read the entire article. The article was published by HuffPost and the title is Five Reasons Women Over 50 Should Start Something New. And I really love the title. Actually, I love the picture they have when you open the screen. I've got a picture here where you can see the woman with the surfboard. I think that just encapsulates that whole idea of starting something new when you're over 50. I read the article and then I thought about some ways that I could express that in my own words in terms of my own reinventing journey and also to inspire you to take your own reinventing journey, especially if you're a woman over 50. I have four things that I really think that if you're considering reinventing yourself and you're over 50 and you're a woman, these are the things that you really need to hang on to. And the first one is dream on. I have a video up here where I talk about your dreams. I made a list of 100 dreams. I actually <laughs> have crossed some of those off in the first couple of months of this year. Dream, dream impossible things. I just watched a video earlier today with Ben Nimpton. I think that's how you say his name. And he was talking in a graduation speech about crossing off basically his 100 dreams, his bucket list. One of the things that he talked about was, even if it seems impossible, go ahead and dream it anyway. Go ahead and write it down. Don't just say, it's impossible, I can't do it. And I think that's so important for us when we reach age 50 because there are some things, some dreams and expectations that we had that we say, well, we cannot do that anymore. Just because you think it's impossible, don't let that stop you and try to accomplish that in some way. Please dream on. Don't stop even if you're 50 or above. The second thing I encourage you to do is give yourself permission. One time somebody told me it's easier to ask for forgiveness than it is to ask for permission permission. I think that's true for ourselves as well. And sometimes we want to remove permission from ourselves because we have fears. Fears of failure, a lack of courage, fears of what other people are going to think about us. Give that up. You're over 50. You don't have to worry about what other people say. You know, you've done that for 50 years. Stop. <laughs> Give yourself permission to carry out those dreams. Give yourself permission to renew your life. Give yourself permission to reinvent yourself. I've told you to dream on. I've told you to give yourself permission. Now I want you to say, okay, I acknowledge this sounds impossible or it seems impossible. It is impossible. <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway. One of the things I liked in the article, that the article said that 
we, we over women over 50 especially can negotiate the hell out of things <laughs> And I realize it's true, you know, how many times if if you ever had children or grandchildren, you negotiated with a teacher or a principal or another room mother to help your child out. How many times have you been in a board meeting and had to figure out a way because nobody was listening to you because you're a woman and you've had to negotiate and you've gone behind the scenes and figured it out and done it anyway. How many times when you've been in a marriage and something has happened, your spouse doesn't want to do things, but you have figured out a way to kind of get around that and done it anyway. We've taken things back to the store and it looks like they're never going to take this item back, but we've negotiated our way and gotten our money back or gotten credit for it. Or we have dealt with a toddler in the grocery store who's having a meltdown. Or we have, you know, tried to get something done for a parent who is aging and in some kind of healthcare situation. And we're trying to get them their problems solved. How many times have we done all of this stuff and it seems impossible and, you know, nobody's going to do that for you and nobody's going to help that child and nobody's going to that. And yet we have stood up for people. We have negotiated. We have done the impossible, even when it sounds like this, just, there's no, no way. So acknowledge things are impossible. Do them anyway. I just had to film this. We've got Manu wanting my attention. We have Yuki, our dog here. We have Clovis, our kitten, trying to get in major trouble. I mean, this is what I go through when I'm trying to film a video. I just thought you would like to see this and find the humor in it somewhere. The last thing I recommend you do when you're over 50, especially if you're a woman and you want to reinvent yourself, is you've got to go the distance. Now, I just did a video just a couple of days ago about being consistent. You can see it up here. And going the distance is kind of the same thought. It means that it's not just for one or two years, or it's not just this month, or it's not just a short time thing, but you want to do things. You want to reinvent yourself in a lasting way. You want to go the distance. I gave this example in this other video that I talked about earlier, where I said it is like preparing for a marriage, not a wedding. When you are preparing for a wedding, how many hours and money and people and efforts and dreams and plans went into that one wedding, and yet the wedding is a one-time event. The marriage is supposed to last a lifetime, and we spend so much energy on that one day, that one time, or maybe one week in some cases, but we need to be looking at going the distance and doing the long haul. So that's what you're doing when you're reinventing yourself, when you're living out your impossible dreams, when you're just going ahead and doing it anyway, you are going the distance. And that is what reinventing is all about. Sometimes I can know on YouTube who the, the demographics, who's watching, who's not watching. If you're over 50, when the comments below, if you would put 5-0, you don't have to put your actual age. Just put 50. I know you're over 50. I just want to know, I kind of want to get an idea what the demographics are for this channel. I've mentioned before, I'm working on my niche. I'm trying to figure out how focused that I'm going to be on this channel, who my audience is, all of those kinds of things. So I'm just really curious about you. So I would love to hear from you in the comments. Don't forget, if you have not subscribed, do that today and click on that notification bell so you will know when I've uploaded new videos. I'm so glad you're here. Remember, you can reinvent yourself even after age 50. Check out these other videos that I've done and have a great one.